All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopeful luck brothers out there that's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. This the brother and not by Ayasha, the GMS Indianapolis camp, coming to another episode to get your mind right. Today we're going to be dealing with the Lord as our protector. Because no matter what you go through in life, all the, the, the hell, the high water, the turmoil, the ca catastrophes, the calamities, all the destruction, all the the, 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 the wiles of Satan that he, that he try to bring against you, the Lord always has your back. Like I tell you in Sirach chapter 4, it says, Strive for truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Meaning what? Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh is our protection. No matter what people in this world bring against you, the persecution, the slander, which is the lies, you know what I'm saying, bearing false witness, all these things, you know, trying to pray for your downfall, try to lay traps and snares, even on your job, you know, in your household, no matter what, the Lord is going to protect you. You just, you just got to keep the faith and believe that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to protect you no matter what. See what I'm saying? There's there's nothing too big that the Lord can't take care of for you. Always remember that. You know what I'm saying? It's uh this is Sirach chapter 34, verse 16. It says, it says, uh, it says, For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection. So what are the eyes of the Lord? Those are the angels that run to and fro in the earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the scripture say, the bird that carries the message, you know, to who? You how about Shemia was shot? Let them know what's going on. Hey, look at your men down there standing stiffly for your name, for your word, you know, being defenders of the gospel, you know. It said, for the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. Who loved him? That's the hopeful, ele hopeful elect. Lord, would not one of those men, as well as the rest of you brethren out there, that's teaching the truth out of love and sincerity? Because by saying that John the Baptist what, is not in the truth, that's not showing love for you, how about Shimei I was tried. That's actually showing hatred because you adding and taking away from the scripture. So you're not showing that you love the Lord. By saying that the mark of the beast is an embargo or a potato chip or sleeping with white women or going to a Baptist church, <laughs> that's not showing the love of you, how about Shimei I was shy. You see what I'm saying? That's showing hatred toward the doctrine of you, how about Shimei I was shy. It says that, uh, verse 16, this is Sirach 34 and 16. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection, not weak protection or failed protection. It says mighty protection and strong stay. A defense from heat. What is part of that heat? Hey, them trials and tribulations that you go to. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And also ultimately it's going to be what? Them nuclear missiles because that's the major heat. You know what I'm saying? So it says... Uh, a defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon because, hey, when, it's, when the sun reaches its highest peak at noon, it gets hot. It gets real hot. So the Lord is our protection. Protects us from what? The destruction, the calamities. You know what I'm saying? It says a preservation from stumbling and a help from falling. So he preserves us from stumbling by what? That's why you got people out like there that's teaching false doctrine. They stumbling. See what I'm saying? They falling. Because why? They don't have the prote protection from you. How about Shemiah was shy? And why the Lord is allowing their tongue to go out there and speak perverse things. Because when you fear the Lord, you're going to speak the right things. You know what I'm saying? You're going to speak, as the scriptures say, as the oracles of you. How about Shemiah was shy? And not the oracles of yourself. You get what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of people out there that what? Know that they Israelites, but they still leading other Israelites astray. For their own what? Vain opinion. Because they want to get their pat on the back. Or they sold out for what? Their Judas purse. You see what I'm saying? They're not teaching for the sincerity and love of the elect. Of the fruit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Or, or for a period to love of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They teach them for what? For their own vain glory. They're trying to fill their own belly. Like I tell you in, in, in Romans 16. You see what I'm saying? So it says... Uh, a preservation from stumbling and, and help from falling. Because when you what? 
turning away from Yahweh Shimon Shah's word and teaching your own doctrine, you're going to what? Fall. You're going to stumble and fall. You're going to trip over your own feet trying to run this race. But you're doing it for your own glory. You're not doing it for the glory of Yahweh Shimon Shah. See what I'm saying? Because the scriptures say that some preach for what? For, uh, for contention and strife. You know, some teach the gospel for contention. Meaning what? They like arguing. They like the drama. They're not teaching to edify. They're teaching to glorify themselves. You see what I'm saying? So the next scripture I'm going to bring you out is Psalms chapter 18. This is Psalms 18. I'm, I'm going to start at verse uh, 1. It says, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. See? The Lord gives us strength. Not only do he protect us, but he gives us what? Strength. He makes us strong in this, in this weak nation. It says, the Lord is my rock and my fortress. See, a rock is what? A sturdy, firm foundation. And my fortress. What, what is a fortress? That's protection. Like in the military, you got Fort Bragg or Fort Hood or, you know what I'm saying, things like that. Fort is short for what? Fortress. That's a, a protection from what? Your enemies. It said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Deliverer from what? All these calamities. But ultimately, he's going to be our deliverer out of what? Babylon. It says, my power, my strength, and whom I will trust. My buckler, which is what? A protector. See what I'm saying? It says, and the horn, which represents what? Power. And the horn of my salvation and my high tower. A high tower is what? Protection also. Because the scriptures say what? The name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it. See what I'm saying? Because the tower is what? Protection. Let's say if, if, if your neighborhood is flooded and you have a high tower to run to, well, guess what? You're going to run to there to what? For protection. To keep you safe from their flood. See what I'm saying? Because Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is our protection from the flood. Don't the scriptures say that Esau, that the enemy shall come in like a flood? You see what I'm saying? So when there's a flood coming, what do you do? You seek higher ground. What is that higher ground? That's Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. That's our tower. You see what I'm saying? That's our protection. That's our shield and buckler. That's our deliverer. That's our strength. That's our rock. See what I'm saying? So, hey, you brothers and sisters out there, no matter what you're going through, keep your eye on the prize, and that's your how about she, how about she may shy. You see what I'm saying? Don't lose your faith in the Lord. Always know that the Lord is going to protect you. He's going to guide you. He, he's going to keep you. No matter what you're going through in life, through all your ups and downs, through all your shortcomings. You see what I'm saying? No, no matter if you slip up with the Lord or not, as long as you're trying to do right, the Lord is going to protect you. What the scripture says, a righteous man falls seven times, but get back up. So no matter what you brothers do, man, you, you, you fall and you slip, guess what? You get yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep going. Because guess what? You how about Shemiah was shy, no matter what, is it is going to protect you. That's our shepherd. We're his sheep. That's our shepherd. So when the sheep go astray, what does the Lord do? He bring you back to the fold. For what? Protection. See what I'm saying? So don't worry about it, no matter what you're going through. Don't let Satan come in your mind and cloud your mind with these wicked thoughts, man. Don't, don't let your, your, your sins weigh you down and overburden you. See what I'm saying? You just confess your faults to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Pray about it and keep it pushing. We got a job to do. And that's, that's what? Fight this good fight of faith. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we in, we in spiritual warfare. Things going to happen. But just know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is protecting you and lifting you up no matter what. So what if, if, if you feel like, you know what I'm saying, that you're not loved or, 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 or cared about? Just know that, hey, your true care and love comes from who you have by Shimmy Abba Shai. Even though you got people around you that love you, but still, always know no matter what. I don't, I don't care if you're on a deserted island, always know that you have by Shimmy Abba Shai got you. Don't worry about the rest. You know, 
lose the stress, and, and focus on your how about shimmy I was shy. With that, hey, a ball, 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 shallow one.